everybody. Back again at the shop. Today we are going to talk about your OS 105 piston and specifically cleaning it, certain things that you need to do to make sure that your piston performs well. Um, a lot of things that aren't very uh, intuitive that need to be cleaned uh, and I'm going to show you those things. Here is your OS 105 piston. Now if you notice there is a tiny groove right there on your piston. That groove is not there just because it's pretty or it's cool looking. That groove holds oil. It retains oil and it lubricates your piston uh, so that it can travel through the sleeve smoothly. Uh, without that there, just kind of smoothing or, or smearing oil all over the place on the sleeve, which is fine, but this little groove will retain a almost like a bead of oil which allows it to operate a little bit more smoothly a little bit more cool uh, and that's it so you should clean that and one of the things you can do to clean that is either use simple green or super clean and you can use a toothpick you can use your fingernail and a rag uh, as long as you're not using something that is going to gouge or scrape the aluminum. So just make sure you get all of the crud. See the black crud in there? Whole bunch of black crud. It's probably real close to the exhaust port. Um, this is a pretty filthy piston here, but this is an old piston, which I'm not gonna use anymore because the locating pin is gone. But it's good for illustrations here. So clean that groove and you will operate much better. All right, next thing to clean are these tiny holes on top of the piston. Now, a lot of you probably already know what these are for, but for those of that you that don't know what these are for, these are actually pressure holes. And those pressure holes, when the piston is traveling upward and creating pressure in your combustion chamber, those holes have a tiny slot basically behind the ring and what happens is those holes get pressure from the combustion chamber you know piston traveling up and it actually pressurizes the back side of the ring when you pressurize the back side of the ring you get a better seal on the cylinder so the ring is actually pressing itself against the cylinder wall um, I believe that's an old NASCAR trick Steve Helms told me that back in the day but anyway, that's a really nice feature that OS included, probably, st I believe, starting with the HZ series motors. So what you do to clean those is get your one millimeter drill bit. If you don't have one, uh, get one. Um, you could probably use a toothpick, but this one millimeter drill bit, you can basically by hand put it in these holes and you can twist it around and get the crud out. So that will definitely help make sure that you're getting the most out of the pressure behind your ring. All right, next is the ring groove. Now the ring groove obviously retains the ring and same with the oil groove, you wanna get all that crap out from behind there. Um, basically your ring is gonna seat on there. It's gonna be similar to the size or diameter of the piston, uh, but slightly larger, so it's it's, it's pretty important that you clean all the crap from under there. You could potentially get, you know, carbon deposits and stuff like that behind the ring, uh, which will not allow the ring to uh, equally seat uh, around the piston. So clean that out and you will have better performance. You see that big nasty goo in there. That's all got to come out. And again, simple green, super clean or maybe mineral spirits, anything you guys use to clean these. Uh, be careful with the super clean. That stuff will eat the aluminum if you use it on there. Leave it on there too long. You'll actually etch the aluminum. So Simple Green won't do that, but it's not as easy to get the, the crud off as super clean. Uh, mineral spirits is pretty good as well. Gasoline, anything you usually, usually use to clean these aluminum parts. All right, next are the oil ports for the wrist pin. Now, these don't generally clog up because they're rather large, but you know, get in there, clean them out, get all the crud out of the backside of the piston. 
um, just to help those those oil parts help lubricate the wrist pin um, any crud in there has to go that about sums it up for piston cleaning clean your piston make sure these are clean usually maintain these motors at least uh, once I hope once a year if you're not doing that you should uh, I do it probably two to three, three times a year. If you're flying a lot, you're going to go through bearings. You're going to need these things clean. So do your maintenance.